Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be painting this landscape environment. And as usual, I will talk about some of my process and give you tips and ideas on how to improve your digital painting. My name is Victor, I'm a concept artist working in video games and I really hope you'll enjoy this video and find it useful. If you do, please consider subscribing and liking it. Also, don't forget to ask any questions in the comment section. I'm going through all of them. Alright, let's get started. Ok, so I usually begin by establishing the mood, starting with the color of the sky, and this time around I wanted to have a brighter, more colorful image, so I went to the really saturated blue. When it comes to the sketch itself, I am keeping things very simple, just establishing a preliminary composition and then proceeding to block in my shapes. Also, I would recommend using reference images, it's especially useful when doing this kind of quick sketches, concept ideas or any sort of studies. You'll also learn more about light and different materials interacting in your particular scene. Ok, so now I'm quickly blocking in the local color that I think might work. Alright, so once we have all that, you can start adding light and describe the form. So now the same thing for the vegetation, putting down some shadows and light. Something I noticed is that the whole thing started to look like a half-eaten green apple and as soon as I noticed this I made some adjustments later on. And on the top, at first I wanted to have some sort of buildings and maybe even indicate that there are people living, but in the end I decided it would be more appropriate to have maybe some ruins or something ancient. Continuing with the vegetation, trying to describe the form and pushing those values a little bit. Thank you. 
After finishing the clouds, I was trying my best not to stay in one spot, so I was jumping across the image trying to see if details I could add and maybe fix some areas if possible. I was thinking of adding a little bit more vegetation on the bottom. In the end it came out a little bit messy, so definitely something that has to be fixed. So right now I'm trying to find a good balance between areas of rest and areas of detail, as well as trying to describe the form a little bit better.
In the final image, you will see that I also added a couple of elements in the foreground, just to close the composition a little bit better. A few more details and I think we can call it done. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please consider subscribing and sharing for more videos like this. Also ask any questions about the process in the comments. Thanks again for joining in and I hope to see you in the next video, coming soon.